Welcome to this video tutorial from CoreTechnologies.com. Today, we are going to show you how to keep the Windows Print Spooler running 24-7 with Service Protector, automatically restarting the spooler if it uses too much memory, crashes, or stops for any reason. Let's get started. First, download and install Service Protector from CoreTechnologies.com. Next, start Service Protector. Select Protector, then Add to open the Add Protector window. On the General tab, in the Service to Protect field, choose the Print Spooler Windows Service. You will notice a green circle on the left if the Print Spooler is already running, as was the case on our server. Occasionally, jobs can get stuck in the queue, putting the brakes on all printing. If that is a concern, we recommend having Service Protector clear out the print queue folder of all .shd and .spl files whenever the service stops. In this tutorial, we'll move the files to another folder for later review, but you may choose to delete the files if you prefer. So, to have Service Protector clean up the spooler when the service stops, we have created a new batch file with a single command to move all files from the spooler folder into another location. Again, if you prefer to delete the files, you can change the move to a delete command. Now, back on Service Protector, switch to the Extras tab. Check the When the Service Stops box and enter the full path to the new batch file that you created above. This will ensure that stuck jobs are cleared before the spooler is resumed after a failure. We are now done configuring Service Protector for the Print Spooler, so click the Save button to record your settings. In a few seconds, an entry for the Print Spooler will show up in the Service Protector window. At this point, the spooler is already running, but it is not yet being protected by Service Protector. To start protection, choose Protector, then Start Print Spooler. In a couple of seconds, the shield icon will go to green to indicate that the spooler is being monitored by Service Protector. That's it. Next time your computer boots, the print spooler will start and Service Protector will begin monitoring the service to promptly restart it if it stops for any reason. We encourage you to edit the print spooler in Service Protector and check out the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. For example, send an email if the service fails, restart the spooler nightly to cure memory leaks, and much more. Thank you for watching.